Hello friends and welcome to the channel. My name is Ivan Kosogor and last night we published our first video. So today I want to talk about starting. And usually when successful people talks about starting something new, they already have 20 years of experience. I have less than 12 hours. And I just want to share my thoughts and my insights at this moment right now. So first thing first, I woke up and I didn't know what I'm going to film today. I didn't know what will be my next great idea. And then I started overthinking what will I do next month and how I'm going to come up with so many ideas to fill full year and what if I want to do this for five years or for 10 years or for, for the rest of my life. And I just got tired thinking about this and not actually focusing on my next step. So today I just want to remind you and remind myself that you don't have to know every step until the end of your career. You just have to know next five steps or better said, you have to focus on the next one. And this is what I'm going to do today. This is why I decided to talk about starting something new at my very start. And yes, ideas are great, great, they're powerful and they can be source of amazing things. But also if you just have ideas and if you're not implementing them, if you're not working on them, then you will trap yourself in this uh, loop where you will constantly questioning yourself, coming up with a new idea, forgetting about that idea. In my mind, every idea has a lifetime. And sometimes that lifetime is like one day, sometimes it's one hour, sometimes uh, before I fall asleep, it's probably a minute or two. And sometimes it's 10 months, 10 years, who knows? But every idea has a lifetime from the first time we're thinking about that to the time when we completely forget about it. And I just want to remind you to not wait for your idea to become forgotten. And when you're trying something new, it's easy to get frustrated and to feel like everything is against you, to get distracted by the things that no one else will notice. But you, you actually feel like that whole world wants to say no to you. And that's how I felt last night. That's how I'm feeling right now, probably. Not to the same extent, but there is that little feeling and that voice that's still telling me, what are you doing right now? What we are doing right now? What, what's the purpose of this? What's the purpose of everything? And I don't have all the answers, but I know that starting something new is terrifying. And there is that kind of uh, game plan that you have to know every step that you have to figure out how you're going to do it, when you're going to do it, with who you're going to do it. But how can you know when, with who and how before you start? And isn't that point of growing when you start something and then you are flexible enough to learn new ways to, to do it? And there is also the other side of starting something new, which is excitement. You feel like you are breathing new air. You feel like you're reborn. You feel that, oh my God, everyone will love this. This will be amazing. This is that idea that I was born for. And don't forget that. And don't, don't think that this is like, oh, this is so dumb or stupid. Oh, that's not me, you know. Stuff. You know, when you have a new hairstyle or you buy something new and then people tell you like, oh my God, I love your shirt. And you're like, well, it, it was cheap. Like, don't, don't say your ideas are cheap. When somebody says something nice about your ideas, yeah, say thank you. I'm so happy that you, that you see that, that. Oh, thank you so much, I appreciate. You know, just stay in that state of mind of excitement because you will need it. If you succeed in staying in that state of mind, you will not need external inspiration. And then you will not need to read motivational books or to ask for other people's approval. You will just do it because you have that fuel inside you. And that state of mind will be your best friend in the long run. And main questions that I have since we started last night is like, what do I do next? How do I keep going? What will I do when things go wrong? How do I know when project is done? And what do I do next? And as many questions I have right now, 
all answers are probably one and that's I don't know but I will just keep doing this da li imamo helikopter? And yes, when you start doing something new, you will have that feeling that everything is against you. That's how I feel this morning. I woke up and our neighborhood is usually not that noisy, but I don't know what happened today. I have two fridges, one here, one behind me. There is like, I don't know, I hear the truck right now. And like I asked Emily a few minutes ago, do we have any helicopters or something here? And I. You know, it's just like, it's probably not a big deal and I'm not even sure that does this microphone catch that at all, but it's just like distracting me in a, in a weird way. And I think it's just like, a, it's in my mind for sure, but it's just like that feeling that, oh, what? why? Why now? Why this is happening to me? And this is actually very interesting insights right now. This is definitely not anything personal. And no one actually know that I'm doing these vlogs right now, so they don't have came up with a plan to destroy my idea, right? Right? Guys? I, I'm, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure anymore, but <laughs> I'm not gonna give up. It's, it, it's easy to give up. Probably the most important question at the beginning is what will happen if you give up? And ask yourself that question. Ask for other people's, other people's, to ask for other people's approvals. Approvals, approvals, approvals. <laughs> or to ask. Brate, teško je, brate. 